Unlocking Future Tense, The Passive Voice Unveiled Hello, language learners. Welcome back to our series on the passive voice in English. In today's episode, we're traveling forward in time to explore the passive voice in the future tense. As always, we'll take you through clear definitions, examples, and some practical exercises to put your knowledge into action. Before diving into the future tense, let's quickly recap the passive voice. In the passive voice, the subject of the sentence receives the action of the verb, rather than performing it. It lets us focus on the action and the object more than who or what is performing the action. For instance, active, the cat chased the mouse. Passive, the mouse was chased by the cat. In the passive sentence, our attention shifts to the mouse and the chase, rather than the cat. Future tense, as the name suggests, refers to actions that will happen later than now. In English, we generally express the future tense using will or be going to. For example, I will read a book. They are going to play football. So, when we combine the passive voice with the future tense, we get passive voice in future tense. This form is typically used when the action that will be done in the future is more important than who will do it. To form the passive voice in the future tense, we use will be or is are going to be followed by a past participle. Here's the structure. Subject plus will be is are going to be plus past participle plus by plus agent. For example, active, they will finish the project tomorrow. Passive, the project will be finished tomorrow. Notice how the focus is on the project and its completion, rather than on who is doing the action. Let's put your knowledge into practice with a few sentences. Try to convert these active sentences into passive ones. 1. I will write the email. 2. She is going to bake a cake. Take a moment to think and then check with our solutions. 1. The email will be written. 2. A cake is going to be baked. Well, that's it for today's lesson on the passive voice in the future tense. I hope you found it enlightening and useful. Keep practicing, as mastery comes with repetition and consistency. Until our next lesson, happy learning!